Cole Custer is headed back to the Cup Series in 2025. Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Yes, on Saturday at 11 a.m. at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Cole Custer will announce that he is headed back to the NASCAR Cup Series in 2025 to drive for the Haas factory team. Shocking, I know. Nobody expected to see this one coming the same way they didn't expect to see Bronny James end up on the Lakers. I know. We're all stunned by this news. But he is moving back up to the Cup Series, and honestly, I think he deserves the promotion once again. Obviously, we've seen Cole in the Cup Series before. And it didn't go very well. They pulled the plug on him faster than they pulled the plug on Harrison Burton, and they should have done that a season ago at this point. Cole does have a NASCAR Cup Series win in 2020 at the Kentucky Speedway, and kind of a shock restart move right there that he ended up stealing the win. Still has a cup win, though, so congrats to him. A lot of people out there don't have one at this moment. So for Cole, I think it's worthy of a promotion, right? He won the NASCAR Xfinity Series Championship last year. He's coming off a win this past weekend in the Xfinity Series at Pocono. Has a good shot of going back-to-back -back in, uh, in the Xfinity Series for championships this year. So I think it's a proper promotion, and he deserves to move up now. That team is probably going to struggle next year, right? It is a one-car NASCAR Cup Series team. Historically, statistically, those haven't performed very well. Just ask JTG Doherty Racing. Granted, they do have a Daytona 500 victory. That's massive for them. But outside of that, they've struggled to have speed consistently. They have had good runs recently, um, which is certainly um, a benefactor of them and their strategy. But for Cole... Trying to get this done with a new Cup Series... I shouldn't say new Cup Series team, right? Gene Haas is holding on to one of the charters from Stuart Haas Racing and will just rebrand it as the Haas Factory team. I'm sure some sort of... Uh configuration of the existing parts will still be there some people will likely remain on staff there at the new haas factory team because of course they are keeping their two car Xfinity series program as well but it still is going to be a struggle they don't really have an alliance at least not publicly yet with any other four teams they're remaining with ford they've struggled this year at times but we've seen them get a lot of speed out of that four car with josh barry no gragson has had speed at times same with chase briscoe ryan priest has kind of just been there hasn't really done much of what the other three cars have done up to this point so i wouldn't go into next season being like hey cole custer is going to be a contender he's a guy that's going to compete for a playoff spot because i just don't think that's going to happen next year now that is a team that they can absolutely build something into and uh, it's going to be an uphill battle. I don't think anybody's shocked by that. Obviously, Haas Automation will be the sponsor on it. I kind of hope that they're taking Andy's Custard with them because the Cole Custard uh, promo is a really good promo. I've never had Custard before. I grew up in Cincinnati, and if Cincinnati people, they love to talk about the food that they have here. And I'll be honest, most of it's not very good. The ice cream, though, from Graders, that is S tier ice cream. It's the best. You can't beat it. I've been to a bunch of places around the country, world cannot top, top what Grater's ice cream had. This ice cream fucks. No other way to say it. Holy shit, does this fuck. So I haven't tried custard yet. I can probably go over to Culver's at some point and try We don't have an Andy's here. Got off on a ice cream tirade right there. But honestly, if you've never had Grater's, I don't know how they keep the chocolate chunks so soft. It's like they're just eating them right out of the package and it's been frozen for weeks. Makes zero sense to me. I'm not a scientist by any means, but how? How does that work? I have no idea. So... Back to actual racing, though. Cole Custer moving up next year. It checks a lot of boxes. It makes a lot of sense. Who else are they going to put in that car? Ryan Priest is obviously available. He's not going there. Harrison Burton not going there. And nepotism, it, it happens. It's a thing. We should talk about it. Joe Custer will be leading that Haas factory team next year. He shares the same last name with Cole Custer. Weirdly enough, relationship there, father and son. So you can kind of see how those two come together. Cole has always been sponsored by Haas Automation through, you know, the truck series when he was 15 and 16 running down there at JRM, all the way up through now the Cup Series, back down to the Xfinity Series. So at all turns, Cole Custer has had Haas Automation. It just makes sense that he moves up, back up to the Cup Series with the Haas factory team. So where does that leave us with the rest of Silly Season? Well, right now we saw the third 2311 car, which hasn't been announced, but will eventually be announced. That's expected to be Riley Herbst as much as the internet doesn't want to hear that. You, of course, have a third seat over at Trackhouse, which hasn't been announced yet, but we expect it to be. And that will be likely Shane Van Gisbergen. You still have a third seat over at Front Row Motorsports. I've told it was, been told it was Sam Mayer. I've been told it was Zane Smith that's going there. It seems to be between those two guys at this moment. So 
We'll have to wait and see on that. Call Racing seemingly has both of their seats open, so maybe that's a landing spot for a Sam Mayer if he doesn't get that FRM ride, if he wanted to move up to the Cup Series. And then you also have the second car over at Rick Ware Racing that is open as well, that 15 car, which maybe could be a landing spot for Ryan Priest. Justin Haley has shown what those cars are capable of doing. They're getting a lot better, so hats off to the Rick Ware guys. Um, just not sure what their plans are for that second seat yet. Yeah. Other than that, everything is pretty much spoken for. The 43 car at Legacy Motor Club. Eric Jones is not re-signed yet for 2025, but fully expect him to stay there and not be Corey Heim or something else along those lines. So barring somebody just having a shock retirement or a team really wanting to make a move, that's pretty much where Silly Season stands at right now for the Cup Series. The Xfinity and Truck Series Silly Season usually kicks up towards the latter half of the year and end of the offseason. So that's about to spark up as the, as the season goes on. But for the Cup Series... Dust hasn't settled yet, but I think we have a pretty decent understanding on where the landscape's going to fall at this point. So let me know in the comments what you think about Cole Custer, Silly Season, Ice Cream, does not matter. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.